Hello friends, welcome back. In previous video, we have seen the stereochemistry of coordination compounds with the coordination number 1 to 6. Now in this video, we are going to study the stereochemistry of coordination, num uh, uh, coordination compounds with the remaining coordination numbers. So let's start with this. That is the second part of the stereochemistry of coordination compounds. Okay, so the next coordination number is the coordination number 7. That means at the center we are having the metal and it is surrounded by the 7 ligands. Now this coordination number is again not a very common coordination number. It is possible in 3 geometries. Out of the 3 geometries we are having the first one that is the pentagonal bipyramid or pentagonal bipyramidal. That means what will be the shape for this? In one plane, we are having the pentagonal. That means the five ligands, they are forming one plane and the remaining one will be above and the second will be the below. So, out of the three geometries for the coordination number seven, this geometry is the most common geometry. So, it is having the structure in one plane that is in the pentagon. We are having the five ligands, then remaining is the above and the second will be the below. Its examples. Its examples are UF7 3 minus, is ZRF4 3 minus, FEH2 EDTA minus. So this is the geometry. Now here we can say that it is pentagonal bipyramidal. How it is pentagonal bipyramidal? At the center we are having a pentagon. You can see this pentagon. And then at once above oriented and the below oriented. That means two sides we are having the ligand. So it is pentagonal bipyramidal. With the planes, we can see like this. So, all the five ligands, they are in one plane. Remaining is above and second is the below. So, this is the pentagonal bipyramidal. Second is the cap octahedron. That means in the octahedron, we have to add one more ligand. So, in this geometry, the seventh ligand. We know that octahedron is for the six ligands. So, the seventh ligand is added to a triangular face. So its structure is like this, we are having the triangular face or we can see it is an octahedron and in this octahedron this is a triangular face. To this triangular face one more ligand is added. So it is called as the cap octahedron. So its examples. So these are the examples of the cap octahedron that is NBO, F6, 3 minus, M2O3, lanthanide oxides etc. So this is the geometry with planes. So we can see this is the plane of for the four ligands. Then one ligand is above, second ligand is below. Right? And then this ligand, this ligand is added to the triangular face. Therefore it is called as the cap octahedron. Then for the coordination number 7, the third geometry is the cap trigonal prism. Now in this geometry, the seventh ligand is added to a rectangular face. So we are having this structure and to this rectangular face, this is the rectangular face, we are having the seventh ligand. So it is called as a cap trigonal prism. Its examples NBF7 2 minus, TAF7 2 minus, ZRF7 etc. So this is the geometry with planes. Okay, so we can see that at the rectangular face, one more ligand is added. So this is regarding the coordination number 7. We are having the 3 geometries possible for the coordination number 7. Then coordination number 8. Now among the higher coordination numbers, this is the most common coordination numbers with many examples or the maximum examples. This is because the two important factors in favoring the 8 coordination numbers are the first one is due to the large size of the metal cation and high formal oxidation state of the metal. So these are the two factors due to which the more examples are possible for the coordination number 8. So they occur in three geometric forms. They are cubic complexes, square antiprism and a dodecahedron. So let's start with the first one that is the cubic complexes. Now this is the simplest geometry for an 8 coordinated complex. It is very uncommon geometry. 
it is probably due to the anion anion repulsions in the geometry in the geometry there is an anion anion repulsion and hence it is very uncommon so this is the structure at the center we are having the metal and this metal is surrounded by the eight ligands and the eight ligands they are placed at the corners of a cube therefore it is called as the cubic complexes and here there is a anion anion repulsion repulsions of the ligands and hence it is very uncommon its examples its example is cesium chloride cesium fluoride na3uf8 then the next geometry for the coordination number 8 is square antiprism structure so this is a modification in the cubic geometry why this modification to decrease the anion anion repulsion we have seen the earlier geometry there is anion anion repulsion hence that is a most uncommon and to decrease the anion anion repulsion we are having the next geometry which is square antiprism structure this arrangement is found in most eight coordinated complexes so this is the geometry with plane which is known as the square antiprism structure its example ref82 minus taf83 minus and zr acac that is acetyl acetonitro 4 and the next one th acac 4 so its a geometry is like this square antiprism so at the above side and the below side we are having the square and then the remaining they are forming a prism therefore it is square antiprism then a the third geometry that is the dodecahedron now this geometry consists of a cube which is composed of two interpenetrating tetrahedra there are two interpenetrating penetrating tetrahedra therefore it is called as the dodecahedron now these are two tetrahedra are so adjusted that one of the tetrahedron is elongated and other is flatten and due to which we are having the examples for this mocn8 Four minus Z R C two O four 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 minus, and its geometry is like this. It is the dodecahedral geometry. It consists of two interpenetrating tetrahedras, out of which one is elongated and other is flatten. So these are the three geometries possible for the coordination number eight. Then coordination number nine. This is known to occur in only one geometric form, and that is. tricap trigonal prismatic now it is derived from a trigonal prism structure only by placing three additional atoms outside the centers of three vertical faces that means we are, we are having the same trigonal prism structure in that we have just put three more additional atoms its example is ucl3 pbcl2 rehg twice so this is the structure for the tricap trigonal prismatic so we are having the trigonal prismatic and at the centers of the faces we are having the three more atoms then coordination number 10 very few 10 coordinated complexes are known its their examples are uranium u plus 4 acetate polymer this is known to occur in two geometric forms first one is the bicap square antiprism and the second is the double trigonal bipyramidal but these two are very very complicated it is very difficult to draw these two geometries but here i am showing the only the first one first one that is the bicap square antiprism okay so this is the structure which is called as the bicap square antiprism so this is regarding the coordination numbers last video and this video it consists of total number coordination numbers 1 to 10 so this is regarding the coordination numbers 1 to 10 thank you